Um, I felt a little bit awkward being in a Republican meeting trying to recite the pledge to the Texas flag. The last time I undertook that, I was standing right next to Ann Richards. <laughs> Probably shouldn't mention that name in here, should I? <laughs> and she knew the Texas Pledge perfectly, and I stumbled over it, and she said, Preacher, you need to learn your patriotism for, for your native state. <laughs> to which I said, well, I may not know the pledge, but I know the state song It happens to be the eyes of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta have the sun, so I can take it. And of course, I knew that was not the state sun. I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I got out of her. And she said, "My good sir, you don't know the state pledge or the state sun." <laughs> I do know the pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States. And though I'm a native-born Texan. We just don't say that pledge often enough, do we? Now, the Lord's Prayer, that's another matter. I can believe us in that pretty well. Well, um, George called a few days ago. Jane had heard me give a presentation to uh, a missions group at First Baptist Tyler, which is our home church. And uh, he seemed to think this would have some interest for you. Uh, and I started looking through my notes and I found out I had to insert some things that weren't in my church presentation and take out some things that were. Uh, though I think uh, I'm probably in a faith-friendly group and could probably uh, voice my, my faith convictions as well. Uh, let me plunge right in. And my plan, uh, it's always a risky thing when you come to hear a preacher talk in and, and that's, that's a scary thing. <laughs> I'm having to take a lot of my own medicine now because for the first time in life I'm having to sit through church and listen instead of being the guy who doing the preaching. So I get nervous, you know, when our pastor goes a little longer than I think you should. My, my plan is to make about a two and a half hour presentation tonight and leave two minutes, leave two minutes for questions. Does that work for all of y'all? Cowboys on the land, national championship games, man. No, I, I'd like to take, uh, I, I don't know if we have an exact time frame, and when you man, I, I've had people walk out on my talks any number of times, so that, that does not bother me, so if I can handle that. Well, carry it down the door. All right, all right. You look like a savior now. There you go. <laughs> Last man standing. Um, no, I'd like, uh, uh, if you uh, would, would share with me in this uh, and indulge me, I need about, say, about 20 to 25 minutes to, to kind of do my presentation. And uh, I don't mind questions and comments during the presentation, but I, I, I want you to be aware that, that my intent, at least, is to reserve whatever amount of time. Well, let's put it this way. We'll finish when you're finished with your questions, so it's on you and not on me. <laughs> Is that fair enough? About in about a 45 minute uh, framework or so, I think we can cover some pretty good ground. 